Hey guys, it's me, Vixon23, and welcome to a Minecraft 1.9 map called Prismatic. Now, from what I've seen of this map, it is probably one of the coolest puzzle type maps I've ever seen. So, here we go. We take some glass, and the Prismatic machine is revealed in front of us. So, this map, the premise is changing the color of light to change the environments around you. So, I believe at some point I'll need to power up all of these. Um, and let's, let's get into the map. And see for ourselves. So, into the prismatic room we go. So, we have a room that is blue um, with some color stuff. So, I believe this is our first point. Blue stained glass plane can be placed on glass. So, I assume the room will change when I place it. Well, I know the room will change when I place this on here. That's the premise of the map. And changes to blue. And, aha! Fills with water. This actually floats up to the top. So, this is how I access the next room, which we see before us. Right here, so what do we have here? We have a walkway. Looks like we have an orange glass here. Orange stained pane, glass pane. And what do we have in here? We have um, a sword, okay. And so this room is plain. We make it orange, what happens? We get some cacti, okay. And then I guess I can change it back. And I guess I get the orange back, so these are like interchangeable. So anything in this dispenser? Nothing up there right now. Interesting. What if I change it to orange? Does that change? Let's see, change it to orange. No, okay, stays the same. Okay. Alright, so we can change the color of the room. So what if I make this room orange? What does that do? It goes to orange and not much really changes. So I want to get through to that room. Um, I guess if I used... Hold up, hold up, orange, that bit down there was orange, right? Wait, did that get rid of that? Wait, does this go away? Was this orange? I feel like it was. Wait, if I take this back. So this is what I like about this map. It really kind of messes with your head. You've got to think about what these do. So if I make this white again, that was orange, right? Yes, that's orange. So now if I make this orange, this opens up, okay? So now we can take the stairs up to here. And what we can do here is if I guess I make this, if I make this blue, then I should be able to go up. Yes, okay, we can swim up. Now this is starting to make more sense. So what do we have access to now? We have access to this room. Over here. So what do I want to do in here? Um, it looks like orange would be useful. Green. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. So I could get the orange. Could I? I oh, know I can't because I used the blue. Well, I used the orange to get into here. What do we have this side? Let's see over here. We have... A little section through there. We have another section here. Aha. Okay, so we have yellow now. Yellow can be placed down here. That opens this. Which takes me back through. I'm going to pick the yellow back up. I think it's done everything it needs to do. So we're back here. Oh, and the water flows out of the blue into the orange. So I can actually take orange now. And that gets me somewhere from across here, right? Or, yeah, it does, it does, it does. For a second, I thought it'd cut that off, okay. A little bit of swimming here, but this is, this is, so I'm accessing slowly and slowly more rooms. I guess that's the idea, and I'm getting more glass. I have four different glasses now, and I think I need eight in total. So, right, let's swim over this way. I think I could go through, oh, no, wait, actually, it was blocked down there. So, now we're in the orange room. Let's place this down here. So, this opens this. Still can't get up here. This is still locked. That is locked too. How could I get to that lever there? I could get there if I bring blue through to here, but how do I get blue through to here? That's something very quick about it. Let's see, does yellow do anything here? Yellow. What do you do? Aha! Yellow opens this up, and if I hit this... Alright, so our route back is clear now. So now if I go and grab the blue, and I use that in combination with the... Orange, I think I could get up there. So let's see, so we want to make this, um, so just take orange, so that takes that away. And then yeah, if I did, so if I did blue, where does this rise up to? Let's see. Oh yeah, so this is perfect height, so orange there, then I swim up to here, wait, and alternates around, that's so clever, boom. I love that, and we've opened this over here. What have we through here? Okay, we've got various different dyes, I guess I'm trying to make dyes. I have, um, cactus. Right now, I have cactus. Um, wait, what does this do? Ah, spawned a skeleton. 
with bone meal. So I guess cactus and the bone meal would make us then, would make for us lime green. So I guess this room spawns stuff in. That's what that dispenser's for. Um, but you need to cook this to get the green dye. Unless I just change this to... What does yellow do here? Ah, so that is unique. Okay, so we have some gold in here. What happens if we hit the pressure plate again? Because I don't see how I could get into any of the other, other rooms. Can I just take this back now? Alright, I have that now. Is this... Ah, so we have a blaze. Okay. So, it seems like this room kind of changes very differently. And if I kill you, what do I get? Blaze powder? What's that going to do for me? I'll try it anyway. Did you die, please? I'll oh, come down. You silly... Oh, and we got... Oh, yellow dye. Is that... That is a thing over there. And what does that... Does that give me another colour? I already have yellow, though. So, I'm not entirely sure. What happens when we do this? Oh, that changes. I guess I need to get all of these to get pink. Oh, the pink glass. What do I use the pink glass for? Okay, so wait. Green. We need to get green somehow. Let's go and just realize I'm an idiot. There's actually green back in this room over here. Just tucked away behind the door here. Didn't actually realize that for about a minute there. So we have green now. So what can we do with green? So green here, I guess, actually opens... This, but do I need to use the water in coupling with the green? Let's see, water will lift me up to that point, and then if I drop the green there, this, um, no, they kind of work out of phase, because it's not like a little ledge you can go on. Oh, wait, there's actually this walkway up here. Can I make this jump? Let's see, go for a leap. I think that's makeable. I think that's makeable. Is that, so green is up here. This is a new area. There we go, green. All right, purple. How do we get to you, my friend? So, um, yellow opens up that side, so we open up with yellow, and then nothing here. Purple's up here, we've got blue, I guess, oh wait, there's two colours, so blue and red makes purple, so I need red. I've, have I seen red? I think I have actually, hold up, so wait, if I just forget this area for now, I need red. Let's grab this back. Let's go back down this way. So there was nothing back through that way. Now with green, I can get over here, I think. So if I open this up, we have a route across. Thank you very much. So this green is helping out with getting around. It got us, wait, do we get, we got, do we get a color just then? No, I don't think we did actually. We didn't, we just used the yellow to unlock yellow. So what is this across here? I think we've been, yeah, we've been here. What is through here? So you can go inside here and this is blue. And there's, oh, red is there, and blue means water would rise up that log there. So I need to go down and place down blue underneath. Green would also, I guess, take us up there. So wait, if I place blue here, and then that would take me... And I can get the whole way back up, actually. For a second, I was like, how am I going to get through this middle room? But I can just go around and across. I think that's worked. If those three all go together, then I think we could be onto something here. So a little bit of thinking... And no more drinking. So, let's go out. I don't want to talk about that. That didn't happen. Ladders, ladders, ladders. We're here to puzzle, not to ladder slide. Although ladder sliding is definitely a part of this. Okay, so let's... Uh, here we go. Slide along here. Has this worked? I think that would make sense. Blue, blue. Yes, it's filled up. So, through here we go. Up on top of our little wooden log right here. And we now have red. So I can go back to the place of the purple. Because I can... Things if I take green over there... I guess actually I can use blue to get the whole way back up. I think. So, wait, let's... I'm going to need you back now, green. So we can't go back that way for now. But our main focus is around here. And we need to drop you back over there. And then, do I have red and blue? No, I need to go and get blue back, actually. All the way down here. But then I can get out of here with orange... Instead of blue. Oh, this is trippy, but it's so cool. It, like, this is like, this is barely even Minecraft at this point. This is its own, you know, unique puzzle game. Has anyone ever seen anything quite like this before? In terms of a puzzle game? I don't know. And now we do the jump. Now we have red and blue. And we actually need the yellow to unlock the side which the red would go on. So here, check this out. So, we go 
Yellow. Unlock to middle. Then I go over, drop blue. Hopefully this doesn't flood the place. Blue. Then I switch to yellow to red. And... Well, bang, it's still going under. Uh, oh! Aha, we have a little parkour to bring us up to the top. We have purple now. Have I seen anything that's purple? I'm not sure that I have. Let's, okay, so I need to change this back to yellow to get my blue back, because I think I'm going to need that to get back up to the top to go over to the other side. So let's forget this side. We've reached the end of the line here. So I've got all my colors back. Okay, so what were we trying to do to get up across there? It was... I want to say orange went down there. But let's put blue in here so I can get all the way back. Because blue gives me passes through both these levels. Let's actually, we'll go and inspect. Let's wait for this water to spawn in. Jump up into it. Let's go and inspect what needs to be done down here. Where's my... Okay, I've got my white glass. Was it? It was... Actually, we need... I think green here. Green and then maybe orange. So let's go down and place the green down there. So I can actually just drop down here. So let's change this to green. And then we can leave the orange here, I guess. But it's probably going to take a little... Let's take it anyway. I don't think I need it on this floor. Uh, it cut me off for a second. I think we're making progress here. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I've got quite a lot of colors now. And it's just like which one is going to be the one. To, to solve things for us. So let's go over here. Aha, now we can go up here. And we've opened this up. Now we need to do, it was orange, wasn't it? To open that, so yeah. Orange down here. Switch that back open. And then another, another nice little swim. And again, this is why having this water circuit is good. Because it gives me access to two higher floors. That flow was good to notice, nice and early on. Just before I head that way, in fact, you know, we'll go, we'll go. We know there's definite progress there. So now around here, we we need the blue. Okay, so the blue, but now we have green and I think it's just green we actually need to get across here. So now that we don't need the green, we can dismantle this. Um, now we have a route across, we can get across. What was it? I needed blue, yeah. Blue and there's some other colours. I think it was... Red and yellow, maybe? Just our favourite little parkour. We're getting somewhere. We've not been too stuck. There have been moments where I've been like, hmm, am I really on the right track? But usually, usually we can get our heads around it. Some of you guys probably are watching, just like, what on earth? So blue, yellow, and red. We have all those, so blue. And we're around. Yellow. And then we're around. And now red, and I assume then we'll get maybe black from here, and we'll keep going around. What do we get here? Depth Strider 3, why could we possibly want... I mean, the water's kind of annoying. But why we want Depth Strider 3? Was it blue? No, it was yellow. What am I doing? It's yellow, then blue. Wasn't it? No, it was purple. No, it was red. Wait, what colour was it? What am I doing? You know, I just changed it to white. It was yellow. Wait, where's... Hold up, where's yellow? Did I... Did I put yellow in there? Did I do something that- Hold on a second, where's my yellow? Got my yellow glass back, had to replay the whole map up until this point just to get that. To open that up, and then the last one was blue. There we go. We are back out, so I'll take that with me. So, I got the- I got those swimming boots. Am I gonna have to swim fa through water fast at some point? Or actually, how many glass pieces do I have if I collect them all? So I've got this, this, this. Um, I'll get the orange on the way back down, because I believe I have- Counting the green as well, I take the green and then, what else have I been using? Um, I need to get all of these dyes. I'm not sure how many I'm actually trying to get in total. Um, what could we do? So look, there's blue, which we have, purple, which we have, green, yellow, green, yellow, which we have. Kind of difficult to see anymore. Red, orange. There's an orange one? Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, orange, which we have. I have a lot of them. How do you even get back out of this room? Um, let's think, anyway. What could we be next doing? So I think I've accessed most of the rooms I can look at. Um, I mean, does purple do anything here? We've accessed all those panels and that just blacks them out. Unless we go back to this room over here. 
Oh, I never got my sword actually from here on the replay, so here we go. Wait, so what does purple do here? Ah, okay, the chorus is this to make die? No, that disappears. Uh, maybe you hit the pressure plate. So we know that this room is different every time you use the uh, use a glass there. Um, so yeah, obviously those are going to be reset now. Sorry about that. Ah, it spawns a witch. That makes sense. So I guess it spawns a different mob which drops a different thing each time. We need to come in here. Kill the witch. Which is surprisingly not that easy. Come on. Die, witch. I don't want to be poisoned. Alright, so I managed to kill the witch. I think on 1.9, if you swing too fast, you don't actually do any damage. We can test that out with, uh, I guess putting down actually another panel in there would make sense. I don't want to spawn another witch. Got poisoned up there. So yeah, let's spawn something different in. See what we have. Um, okay. So what does this do now when I hop on? Does it spawn something else? Aha! A creeper. And we got actually, yeah, we got purple dye from that. So let's throw that in there. So I believe with all these dyes, we'll actually get another color. And I think I may actually have all of the colors. Because I'll have eight. And then I think that would be the ninth. So kill this guy. So yeah. I think, look, if I swing twice, the second one, in fact, there's probably better mobs to test this out on. But we killed him. Okay, so lime dice. Yeah, this is what we need to be doing. So now I can change this to the yellow room. So I think I need to kill everything that spawns in here. Uh, in a nice little nice little process, so that's all good. So now, what does this spawn? Oh yeah, this spawns a blaze that we already spawned, of course. Last time, but we're just gonna have to do this again. I think we may actually have all the glass once this is done. I think. So let's see, so look. I'm not sure that actually does damage, I think it hits it, but... I think it only does damage, again, not the best mob to practice on. Oh yeah, we already have the skeleton as well. Because I noticed that with the skeleton, the damage thing only came up certain times. Although, is there any point killing the skeleton, actually? Now that I come to think of it. There's actually not, because what do we need that guy for? Unless we have to make it. So now we need orange. Let's, we should put red down. I have a blaze rod, but I don't think that helps. Let's put down the red, actually. Because the white just gets us white dye. That might be used for something down the line. Does this get me red? Do I have red dye? I already had... Have I? No. I don't know. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. Now, this should be all good. All right, so I need red. I need to put blue in there at some point. I have, I have that on me. So, right, this is a, a little bit of a process here. Maybe I should have been doing this gradually. I didn't actually realize until now. You're going to have to come out of there, mate, because then your drop's going to burn. Come at me, bro. There you go. Now I hit you away from the fire. Get the red dye. Change it up to blue now. Am I going to need to kill a skeleton? I'm trying to think. Oh, wait, is there... No, because you get the pink thing in here. So we need orange, which is... Uh, what do we get? Do we get? What do we get from this? Oh, we get a zombie with a lapis, holding a lapis. Orange is red and yellow. Oh, maybe Oh, maybe I should have killed more of those. I just realized. So yeah, look. If I just keep swinging, look. But it's only when I wait and then swing it actually does damage. You've got the lapis now. I'm actually scared that... Wait, what do we need? We need... We just need orange... Which is actually, we need to do yellow and, yellow and red again. Should have clocked that from the start, that's my bad. That is honestly my bad. They got me there, they got me good. Put in the blue. So yeah, now we just need to get yellow and we need to get red again. Yellow, what am I on about? Yeah, yellow and red, yeah, of course. Yeah, so let's uh, transform the room. Kill this guy. Hopefully, oh wait, what am I doing? I'm swinging too fast. Should just wait. And then yellow die. And now I need to go and hit the button one last time. And then I think we will have actually done it. I think. Because we'll get the pink die. So what am I doing? I'm getting confused here. I think this is all that we need to do. This is all that is required to be done. Let's kill you. Combine you. With you. Orange die. Then we got the pink dye, and I didn't see any pink levers anywhere. For a second, I thought I was going to have to make black um, glass to access some of those areas, but we've actually accessed them all. Here we go. One of those in there. Door opens, and we get the pink glass. Now, what do I need to get back? I had my... I had... What was it? It was... Those... Oh, yeah. I have orange, dye, uh, orange glass down there. 
We can grab back the red. And then, yeah, we have a... We actually have a full hotbar. Hopefully, we're not missing one. Let's see. So, let's take this. Oh, wait. We have the white glass as well. So, yeah, with this and the sword. There we go. We have almost a full house. Wait. Oh, we need blue to get out, actually. Hold on. Put blue down. Does this let me out? Ah, it does. So, here we go. What do we have? We have yellow. We have green. We have... I, don't know, I hope I don't have to remove all of these. I need one of them. We have red. Black's filled in for us. We have pink. We have orange. And last of all, we need blue, which is still in here. And this is what, maybe what the depth strider was for. Come back in. Because I don't think you could get out fast enough. Yeah, without it, look. And there we go. Blue, is that it? We have done it. We have prismatic it. Wow. There we go. Mental block gaming. Mental map. Right here. Look at the beautiful rainbow. The prismatism is complete right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that map. Super different. I've never seen anything like that at all. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Let me know if there are any other 1.9 maps like this you'd like to see me play in the future. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks and goodbye.